Tobias, I've seen the DMP35 before uh, back in the UK at uh, the DMG Mori UK showroom, but we've got to talk about it again because this machine is unbelievably quick, isn't it? Can you just describe, in your opinion, um, what this machine is and what it does? Yeah, this machine is our DMP35. It's for, it's for our medical customers because they need a quick machine, they need quick process, and as well a small footprint. And with the DMP35, we can realize all these requirements from our customers. We have a completely five-axis machine with a double torque table, so the A-axis and the C-axis are driven by, by direct drives, and we have a very fast tool changing process, around about 1.3 seconds for, for, for a tool change. Uh, in combination with our WH3 cell here, um, with the background magazine to enlarge uh, the, the volume of, of the tools, it's the perfect combination for our medical customers to help them to produce their, their products. I mean, that's the beauty of this. You, you've got, I don't know how many tools in there is standard. Is it 24 maybe? Or, uh, this like, is at the moment 25. 25, 25 but, but, but you can expand standard, on that. And we can enlarge it up to 75 tools um, with this background magazine. And the WH3 cell can handle these tools as well as the parts. So we can change tools with the WH3 cell and we can also change parts. Yeah, I mean, the part that you're actually machining in here is a part for the, the medical industry. Yeah. And which says to me that the materials are, are, are quite hard often for, for obvious reasons. Yeah. Are you okay to handle that with this machine? Is, 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 it, is it fine? Is it stable enough? BT30, have you got the, the technology within it to be able to cope? Yeah, this machine is stable enough for the medical customers or for the medical parts, which are mostly made from Titan or Chrome Cobalt or what else. Um, we have a lot of experience with this machine and with this with this uh, kind of process. We have in Seebach, we are uh, we have our medical excellence center with a lot of experience in medical parts, and they they know exactly what our customers need. And this machine is able to do the medical parts best as they can. The is rich here. The machine is rigid enough yeah, for this. And, and the part in question takes about an hour, I believe. It's about it's about an hour to machine the component that it's doing, isn't yeah. it? So it's pretty quick as well because there's, you know, there's quite a few features. It's quite a, uh, a complex sort of part. Um, but to do it that quickly just shows how fast this machine is. Yeah, that's right. Um, we have tool chain, or we, we can change the workpiece in roundabout. Yeah, it depends on, on, on the part. But I think roundabout uh, 20 seconds uh, to, to change one part to another. And part. you have like a stacking tray system as well, don't you? So you can really, you could leave this running unmanned over a weekend, couldn't you? I assume? That's right, that's right. We have a, yeah, a kind of magazine for parts and uh, normally when you compare or when you take normal part size for medical, you can bring 300 uh, single parts in the storage. So you can run it, uh, the machine can run over the whole weekend and it depends on the runtime. Uh, also can run longer than five or six days. So being able to change all the tools then, it means you could be able to use sister tooling because you have to be able to control the environment if you're running for long periods of time, don't you? Yeah, that's right. With the process of sister tooling, we are able to keep a lot of simple tools in the storage that you can run over a long time and you do not have to change uh, the, wor the worn um, tools at the end. Absolutely perfect for the medical sector. Yeah, that's right. Yeah.